Hi everybody, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my version of a wood grain tumbler. And I'm sure you've seen this before, um, but this is a fun and easy way to create an awesome looking tumbler. So first I'm gonna go over the supplies and then we'll go ahead and get started. You're obviously gonna want to need, uh, want to use a tumbler. I am using a 30 ounce stainless steel double wall tumbler from Walmart, Ozark brand. And I always, uh, when I design my tumblers, I always keep them inside of their foam football in the arm. It just makes it easier for me to handle. You're gonna be needing spray paint, alcohol inks, and I will go over the colors used uh, whenever I use them, including the spray paint. You're gonna need a brush. I purchased this from Walmart. You can use the same brush over and over again. I purchased this for about 98 cents at Walmart in the paint section. And you're also gonna need some acrylic coating. And obviously at the end, your epoxy. And I do have a um, trash bag down to protect my area because uh, alcohol ink, it does get kind of messy sometimes. And I have gloves on to protect my hands from the spray paint and alcohol inks. So I have prepped my tumbler. Uh, if you need to know how to prep your tumblers, I do have a video um, in my uh, on my YouTube that show you how to prep how I prep my tumblers. And what you're gonna want to do is um, you're gonna want to spray paint your tumbler. So for my wood grain, my brown wood grain looks, I like to spray paint my tumbler uh, a tan. So this is nutmeg. I don't know if you could see this. It is nutmeg from Rust-Oleum. You can paint it a white, but I do personally like the darker brown of a wood grain. So I do use the satin finish nutmeg from uh, Rust-Oleum. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this and then we will be right back. My tumbler has been spray painted and while it's drying, I'm gonna go over the brand and the colors of alcohol ink that I use. Um, the brand is going to be Tim Holtz. And the first color is going to be caramel. Second color is going to be ginger. And my last color is going to be teak wood. Again, I do like a darker wood grain finish. So um, if you do like a darker finish, use mostly teak wood. And um, I'll show you that during my video. Um, and I did want to tell y'all another option is to use latte. Uh, a lot of people do use this and I used to use this. I have noticed a lot of people complain on Facebook groups that some of their wood grains have a green finish or a like a green hue to it when they're finished. And people are debating whether it's epoxy or if it's the clear spray, the sealer. In my personal experience, every time I use Tim Holtz Latte for my uh, wood grain, I do sometimes, or I do always get a green hue to my uh, to my wood grain. So do keep that in mind. If you do buy a three pack with Latte, um, I would avoid using this color. Um, Cause in my experience, this is the reason why my, my cups in the past have turned a green hue. My tumbler is now dry. And now we're going to apply the alcohol ink. Now there's no rhyme or reason to apply this. There's no certain way. You just pour and brush. The only thing that is very important with this is make sure when brushing, you start from the very top and you end all the way down. If it does dry out by the time you get down here, it's okay, just keep going down. But make sure you do start from the top and sometimes I even come up above the top like so and then I brush down. So let's start with my favorite teak wood and we're just gonna make a line on the tumbler and we're just gonna start from the top and go down over and over again. And you're gonna get splatters of alcohol ink everywhere so keep that in mind if you are uh, in an area where you don't wanna mess up. And that's all you do and it dries almost instantly. So I just take the same color over and over again and I did get some stainless steel peel some stainless steel peeled up there are some spray painted so I'm gonna put the darker color on that on that area so make sure you're going from top all the way to bottom and you just repeat this process and with um, with spray painting it brown I feel it gives it more depth than spray painting it white I do like it and that way if I do miss some spots of um, alcohol of alcohol ink 
uh, peeking through, it's brown. So um, obviously it's like glitter whenever you're, you're glittering a red cup. Um, I try to make the, make the tumbler red the same color as the glitter. So if, so I did use a different color. And so that one was ginger right here. And if you saw it, it rolled down, it is completely okay. I just caught it and then I just kept brushing. So um, I, I never like to like start from, from this side or from the middle. I always start from the top and bring it down to the bottom. And you just, I honestly don't even look at what color I grab. There's no, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this. So I'm using ginger again and there it goes rolling down. All you do is catch it. And then you just go back and forth through the whole entire tumbler. I'm sorry I'm going fast. I just don't want, um, I just don't want the alcohol ink to dry. Cause like I said, the alcohol ink dries almost instantly. And this brush, the more it's been used, the better um, effect it makes on the tumbler in my opinion. So if you do see a stain, so let's say there's a spot right here. If you guys can see that, let me turn off this light. If So this spot right here, I don't really like it. I think the alcohol link kind of settled there. It is so easy to, to fix that. So all you do is you just pour more alcohol ink on there and you just cover it right up. And in that groove, it's kind of it's kind of hard to get in that groove, but you just push down harder on it. And if you want to really cover it up, you just use the dark teak wood. The teak wood is like magic and <laughs> covering up mistakes. And that's all you do. And then if you see right there, the stain's now gone. And you do that on every part of the tumbler. And I'm just holding the tumbler like so. And then with my left, my right hand, I just put the alcohol ink on there in one straight line. And I go back and forth, up, up and down the tumbler until the entire tumbler is completely covered. You want to move kind of fast because you don't want that alcohol ink to, uh, to dry. So if you want it a little darker, you can use teak wood. If you want it lighter, you kind of just use your own judgment um, on this. Just like any other tumbler, you kind of use your own judgment. And you see that, leak, that leaked a lot, but... Um, I got a big, uh, I got a big spot covered there. So I just use the ginger and if you don't like that lightness to it, if you want more of a darker, um, what you can do is you can put ginger all around the tumbler and then fill it in with teak wood, fill in the little spaces with teak wood and it creates the same effect as going back and forth. So like I said, this is your tumbler and you can, you can play with it the way you want. So I did get kind of a spot on the um, the tumbler. It's a little splatter mark. That is okay. All you have to do is take your alcohol ink, go right over it, and do the brush strokes again, and it disappears. Like I said, there's no mess in this tumbler up. This is perfect for beginners. I love doing these when I first started tumblers. I still love doing them. And the cool thing is, is you can do this with silver, you can do it with gray, you can do it with reds and purples. Um, the wood grain is just something that is appealing to, um, to actually a lot of people and a lot of male customers. Um, but this is great. And look, there's a little bit left. This, there's a little spot that I didn't uh, get. And if I was a customer, I probably wouldn't even notice that. The fact that I did this, I noticed it, but I'm sure if a customer saw that, they would never even notice that I missed it because I spray painted my tumbler brown. So it's easy for you to mess up these tumblers and not really mess up. You might think you're messing up, but people won't know. And it's still gonna look gorgeous at the end.
Okay, now I'm gonna be doing the bottom of the tumbler. I'm just placing it off of my football arm just for video purposes. If I wasn't making a video, I would have kept it on my arm, but I took it off. Again, this dries almost instantly. It is completely dry. I was able to take it off my football and not mess it up. You're gonna do the same thing as what you did to the tumbler itself. You're just gonna pour on the alcohol ink and just spread it out on the bottom and that's all you do you put a little dab on there and then just spread it out a little bit goes a long ways and like i said if you guys only have one color brown you guys can spray paint the tumbler brown and just use one color alcohol ink i've seen it before and they come out beautiful so don't freak out if you don't have these exact colors there's a lot of browns there's a lot of different brands alcohol inks um, you will be okay if it's not these three colors. I used to do that when I first started. I needed exactly what the tutorial said. And then I realized, hey, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around a little bit. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it does, then it does. And nine times out of ten, it worked out. So for the bottom, make sure you're doing the same streak, the same motion. So don't go all back and forth different directions. Make sure you're using the same direction. Um, no, doesn't matter which direction you go. Just make sure it's one one direction and then sometimes it does leak on the tumbler let me show you sometimes it does leak like right there on the tumbler all you have to do is take your alcohol ink again and do that brush stroke again and I'd rather it look leaky on the bottom of the tumbler than the size of the tumbler and if you notice um, I just put a little bit on the bottom of the tumbler I'll do it again I'll do it on this side I just put a little bit on the bottom of the tumbler and I know it's not gonna streak all the way to the top, but I still let the brush run until the alcohol ink is um, is dried or finished. So until that line's finished, I hope that made sense. And there you have it. So here is my finished tumbler. This is the wood grain tumbler. Super, super easy guys. Here's the bottom, I hope you can see this looks just like wood super easy so this is like I said this is completely dried I literally turn off the camera turned it back on fix the position of the tripod and I'm back on so that was 30 seconds maybe and it's already dried so after I'm finished with this I go ahead and I hit this with my favorite and the only acrylic coating that I ever use is crystal clear acrylic coating by Krylon. This is the only coating I use. For this tumbler, I don't spray it as crazy and a lot like I do my glitter. So I only put one coat of this um, of this on. So I'm not gonna spray this on video, but just know I only spray this with one coat. I let the tumbler dry for 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I kind of touch it to make sure it's completely dry. Um, and that what you could do is you can touch the bottom so you don't mess up the top. So again, one coat of this, let this dry for 30 to 45 minutes, and then you go ahead and epoxy it. Now, if you are wanting to put a decal on this tumbler, um, what you can do is you can spray it with a acrylic, um, acrylic coating. You can put your decal on, and then you can epoxy it. But do keep in mind, if you place a decal on this tumbler that's not been epoxied and you do not like that decal, the chances are when you rip up that decal, especially if it's permanent vinyl, uh, most likely with, with removable vinyl, it's going to rip up the um, alcohol ink as well, even if you did coat this with acrylic uh, sealer. So I always, 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 if I'm going to alcohol or excuse me, if I'm going to decal this, I always put one coat of thin epoxy on here, just thin. All you have to do is get that coat of epoxy. I let this sit for 24 hours and then I'll go ahead and put the decal on. Once I place the decal on, I'll go ahead and put a flood coat, which is a flood coat is a thick, a thicker coat of, alcohol, of uh, epoxy and then you're done. Um, so if you are putting a, um, if you are putting a decal on here and you put epoxy on here, I always wait 24 hours before I place the decal because if I rip up that decal because I don't like it, I might rip up the epoxy with it, especially if it's permanent vinyl. 
So I hope all that made sense. <laughs> but this is the finished product. And like I said, I do like my darker uh, wood grains, but you can play around the way you like. If you do have any questions or suggestions for me, please leave it in the comments below. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more arts and crafts and tumblers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.